Hi ladies, welcome back to Busy Moms Beauty Tips. Today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 beauty tips and just general tips for having a successful family session. We are having our family pictures done in a couple of days and um, in case you didn't know, my big girl job is that I am a photographer. So I'm kind of giving you some tips based on like beauty things, but also from a photographer's perspective as to what is going to translate well and work well in your photos. So let's begin. I've got my notes down here, so I'm going to probably be looking at these a few times. Number one, the night before your session, you're probably going to want to give yourself a little spa night at home, exfoliate, masks, eye treatments, all that stuff, which is great and wonderful. And I, that's exactly what I do. But my tip would be to make sure that you do not use any new products. Only use your tried and true products that you know work for you and that you know do not um, that cause you any kind of reactions. I mean, that's the last thing you want is to wake up the next day with like a red face because you're allergic to something you didn't know you were. So go ahead and give yourself that nice little spa treatment at home, but make sure you use products that you know and trust. Number two, self tanner. I love a good self tanner. I think we all look a little bit healthier, glowier when we have a little bit of a tan. I'm a fan of doing self tanner at home, but again, it's just like the other products. You really need to know what you're using and know that it works for you and know that you know how to use it. Because a lot of self tanners can make you look orange, especially if you're really fair skinned like myself. So make sure it's a product that you've used before, you know how to apply it. Um, if, you, if you don't and you want to go somewhere, the Versa Spa, I think is what it's called, tanning, is a really good option. Um, it's not very expensive and I think it gives you a pretty good color. You have a couple of different levels to choose from. But So yeah, get yourself a little tan. It'll make you look healthier in your pictures. And I don't know, I just feel better when I feel like I have a little bit of color. I'm like naturally, I'm like a vampire. My skin is so fair. Number three, teeth whitening. We all love for our smile to be nice and pearly white and you know, honestly you smile more when you're confident about your smile so I'm all for teeth whitening. I for one have extremely sensitive teeth so I can't just use like the Crest white strips which I've heard work really well. I just can't use them because it, my mouth feels like it's my teeth are going to fall out or I, it's horrible. It hurts really bad. So I have to use other things but I did just find this new product from Colgate and it is like a toothbrush and it comes with like a whitening pen. So you use the toothbrush and then when you're done you put the whitening pen on your teeth and it says it works in like two days. I felt like I noticed a difference like really quickly so I feel like it works and it's not very expensive. I think it's like $12.99. So teeth whitening again that's pretty straightforward self-explanatory but um, you want to like the way you look in these pictures so set yourself up for success. Get yourself a little glowy tan. Whiten your teeth. Make sure everything is, is looking on point. Number four is paint your nails. I can't tell you how many times I've had clients show up for sessions where they have to hold their baby or whatever and then they say, oh my nails look atrocious. Yeah, your nails are going to show in the pictures. So either paint them or put take, take all the paint off of them, one or the other. Give yourself a manicure, get a manicure, whatever, or just take some nail polish remover and remove everything from your nails. Number five is makeup obviously. If you wear makeup, you're going to wear it. If you don't, you're not. But if you do, I would recommend that you go a little bit heavier than you normally would. Not, we're not talking like looking like a hussy. I just mean wear a little bit more makeup than you normally would. A little bit heavier of a hand, if you will, with certain products. Um, with that said, please make sure that any kind of cheek products, bronzers, contours, any of that stuff, make sure you really, really blend it out. The last thing you want is to like look at these pictures and your family's looking all cute and you look like Bobo the Clown with like these horrible like pink cheeks. Like brush it all out, blend it all out, make sure it all looks good. Another key to the makeup would be if you know how to use them, like to use them, false lashes. I really think that they add a little something extra to your eyes, make them look brighter, a little more open, a little more awake. So if you've never used false lashes before, probably not the time to start would be like the day of your session trying to like you know put the glue on and get them all on that's probably not the time to figure it out but if you have a little bit of time test it out try it out okay so i have a helper now anyways if you are having your session done and you know you don't have pictures done all that often once a year once every two years and it's in your budget i would also recommend just hiring a professional to do your hair and makeup um 
that's their job. Makeup artists, hairstylists, that's what they do, and they will make you look good. Make sure that you either do a trial run with them or that you look through um, a portfolio of their work. Make sure you like their style. Um, you don't want to be looking like a raccoon on picture day. Okay, so the next few things are a little more family related, children related, that kind of thing. Um, make sure your kids all have fresh haircuts. Your boys, make sure they're looking, you know, trim, everything's looking good. Your girls, if they've got bangs, make sure you trim their bangs. Um, you don't want hair in their face. You don't want to like see a picture oh. that you just love their expression, but they have like hair all in their face. So get them all haircuts, make sure everybody's looking sharp. The next thing is a wardrobe yes. check. If you are like me, you might buy something for your pictures a month or two or whatever before the pictures actually happen. Try it all on the day before your session. Make sure that, my helper. Make sure that your clothes still fit the way that you want them to. Make sure that little Johnny's pants have not become high waters in the last three days because we all know that kids will just like randomly sprout up. Make sure that everyone's shoes fit, clothes fit, everything's looking how they need to look for the session. You do not want to be trying to get ready the day of and realize you have to run out and buy somebody a new pair of pants or the right colored socks or whatever. Also, make sure that the outfit you've chosen for yourself is something that you are comfortable in. Family pictures or any type of session is not the time to suddenly decide you're going to step out on a fashion limb and try something that you know, you're know you just not used to or that you are even sure that you like. Um, for example, I myself do not care for like super tight fitting shirts. It just, I don't know, they drive me crazy. I don't like them. So I'm not going to choose, you know, some really tight fitting top because then I know the whole time during the session, I'm going to be like sucking in, turning to the side, like make myself feel skinny, hide my muffin top. You know, you're just going to be like so self-conscious. I know that's how I would be. And that's going to translate in your pictures. You're going to have that like goofy, like stressed out smile where you're trying to like suck it in and look good and it's just it's a mess don't go there wear something that feels like you that you're going to be comfortable in and you feel like it's a good expression of who you are and your style try to be somebody else on picture day okay got a baby on my lap now the next thing which i realize is sort of a you know hit or miss for most moms is to get plenty of sleep the night before you do not want to be rolling up to your session with like bags under your eyes and feeling so tired. Now I realize that, you know, you, you just never know with kids. They might just have a bad night the night before your session. But do your best. Try to go to bed early. If you're one of those people who's a night owl, try to go to bed a little bit earlier so that you can feel refreshed and awake the next day for your pictures. And the last little piece, which is definitely coming from the photographer in me, this piece of advice, would be to just relax, have fun. Do not come to the session and expect you know your children to be on their very best behavior you know yes ma'am no ma'am minding their p's and q's not that they can act like brats i'm not saying that i'm just saying just relax you don't you know the photographer's job is to engage your children and have fun with them and sometimes that means letting them do things they're not normally allowed to do i can't tell you how much time i've spent making fart noises for children like i don't do that at home every day just relax have fun if you are stressed out and uptight your kids are going to sense that they're going to be stressed out and uptight so just try to be chill so your kids can be chill and your photographer can do their job which is to engage your children and get natural expressions out of them that are not going to come if you are over their shoulder like wagging your finger <coughs> saying you better smile you better smile and people do it believe me so don't be that parent don't be that parent just relax Home. So those are sort of my top 10 tips for having a successful family session. If you feel good about yourself, you feel good about the way you look, you feel good about your, your face, your makeup, all that stuff, it's gonna translate in your session and it's going to go well. So best of luck. I hope you found these tips helpful. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you ladies for watching and I hope you have a good week.